What are you doing over there, big hoss? I'm just doing a few sets of goblet squats. Why are you wasting time doing that? Well, because you had that big sandwich for lunch and that ice cream cone. You mean brisket Wednesday at Sullivan's and a victory cone after sourcing all day? Have you even done any listings, any photos today, any work whatsoever? Look, photos and listing is amateur hour. I can do that stuff in no time. Let's just give the people what they want. All right, fine. Let's just show them what we bought. Hey, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Sean. I'm a full-time clothing reseller on eBay and I have a thrift haul of 65 of my best items that I found yesterday on my thrift run. I do one thrift run, it's a 15 hour day. I have to drive to these areas to find the best thrift stores and I do about five hours of thrifting in my local thrift stores. So about 20 hours of thrifting a week and then it takes about 30 hours to process the rest of the business. Now that I've fallen back into YouTube and I'm really excited about it, it takes about 15 to 20 hours of YouTube a week as well. Definitely busy, but that's how I like to be. I'm just gonna get straight into it. You guys might be able to find these in your thrift stores and if you do, you're definitely gonna make money on them if you pay for the right price. First two items, these were for myself. I got a Haller Bros hat you're gonna see me a lot in. I love this green and it's like the black mesh. Unfortunately, it's not snapback. But this item would sell if you did uh, pick it up to sell. Haller Bros is a really good brand. And I picked up this Vineyard Vines. This one is the snapback. It's got like the netting in the back. And it's got the cool, you know, USA whale on the front with the flag. So this will be a good like 4th of July hat and summer hat. And this will be like my everyday hat. I did find two pairs of shoes on this trip. This is a pair of Brooks Beast. I used to be really big into shoes. I paid $10 for these at a Salvation Army. They're pretty much brand new. They're a size 13 4E. Uh, Brooks Beast and Men's is probably one of the better Brooks you can find. I think I'll list these probably close to a hundred bucks. The second pair of shoes is much classier than the Brooks Beast. This is a uh, Ferragamo. Ferragamo is a really, really nice brand. These are a 10 D, so I don't know if I'll be wearing these out, but uh, I'm a 10 and a half and you know, sometimes dress shoes do run small. It's the cowhide. It's got a little bit of a, a blemish here on the front where some of the fur came off and then on the back where where like you've been grabbing to put them on, it's kind of worn there. I don't know what the comps are on these. I just knew it was a pretty good price. I paid $12 for them. And I don't know the exact prices on all these because I did take the tags off. Yeah, you can't really pass up Ferragamo. If you can get them under 20, I would imagine you're gonna make money. This is made in Italy as well. Spring and summer's coming up. So I got this pair right here. This is the um, Birdwell. This brand is absolutely ridiculous. It's made in California. It looks just like your standard polyester like board short. I don't know, the comps on these range from like 40 to like 100 plus. Obviously if it had like more cooler design, it'd probably be more money, but because it is a solid black, there's a lot of guys out there that just like to wear black, you know? It's just like a safe, safe color to wear. I mean, this was a great pickup. I paid $9 for these. Next up, I almost passed on this shirt. It's just like a crew neck long sleeve shirt and it didn't have any size tag and it didn't have any identifying tag. So I looked on the inside here and you guys may have picked it up before. This is a agave. I know you're thinking of tequila and Patron, but this is not the same, I don't think. Anyway, this shirt is probably like a $30 shirt. It's a really good brand. I don't come across it a lot and I don't like picking up shirts if it doesn't have the size tag, but in this case, I'm just gonna measure it out and probably look at other people's listings that have the size and do my best uh, my best guesstimation there to, to get this thing sold. Next up, some more uh, board shorts. This is Viore. If you guys don't know about Viore, Viore is a very expensive brand. It is a Vero brand on eBay, I believe. I've sold, I think, one Viore product and I didn't get Vero'd for it. I don't know if I'm gonna list these on eBay. I would hate to jeopardize my account. You cannot pass Viore up because you could put these on Facebook or Mercari or Poshmark, any of those other sites if you're not worried about um, getting Viroed over there. This is a size small, so unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to wear these. I'm a size medium. I'm a Nobody cares what size shorts you wear. Picked up some more board shorts. This is Peter Millar. The reason I picked these up is one, Peter Millar is a great golf brand, and when it comes to shorts, they sell really well too. But look at all the different prints they have on it. It's got like <laughs> dynamite, it's got a bottle of wine or, or liquor maybe, some beer. It's got like a little animal on there too. Yeah, there's even like a little gopher on these Peter Millar golf shorts, so very hilarious. 
Uh, they're like a blue and purple, so size large, probably another like 25, 30 bucks. These are gonna sell really quickly, especially now that it's warming up. Sticking with Peter Millar, this is a size large. It's a quarter zip sleeveless pullover. Now it does look like it shrank some. I would have picked this up if it was plain, but because it had this embroidery on it, which might be a custom embroidery, it's a little flower with like a golf club. Anytime I see a golf brand that's a quarter zip, a long sleeve pullover that's a quarter zip, those are gonna be good ones to look up to see if you can make some money because a lot of times those guys will wear the collared shirts or the long sleeve button shirts and then throw on like a, a quarter zip over so that they can kind of keep their arms free, especially the sleeveless ones. Here's a brand people like to hate on. This is Abercrombie and Fitch. I don't come across many hoodies in Abercrombie. Anytime you see like the raised lettering, it's got some type of design on it, it's gonna be decent money. I'm not really sure what this one's gonna go for, but I only paid like $3, so not that big a deal. And it is a medium, but I really don't wear a whole lot of hoodies, so we're gonna, we're gonna sell that one. Next up, this is Polo Ralph Lauren, my favorite brand. If you guys have been following the channel, I sell it all the time. This is like a members only inspired type jacket, although it is snap. It's this yellow color. I was a little skeptical. I know I've seen this tag many a times, but the size tag is over here and usually it's in blue. So it possibly gives this thing even more age. I'll have to do some more research on it, but this thing is sweet. Absolutely killer. I can't wait to list that one. Everybody's favorite brand here. This is Patagonia. It's a pair of swim trunks. It's a size 34. It's this um, kind of mustard yellow, like beige brownish color with the, uh, you know, the red striping here and it's got a zip pocket off to the side. Now some Patagonia swim trunks can go for like 60 bucks if it's like some of the older stuff. This one I think is a little bit newer. It says it's made in Vietnam, but um, an easy 25, $30 on the Patagonia. I pulled this Peter Millar as well. I found I think five of these uh, swim trunks, but I pulled the cool ones. This one is extremely cool. If you guys look right here, it's got one of those snail shells as the back of a skull and it's an all over print with these skulls. Absolutely crazy. One thing whenever you're listing these, you're gonna wanna put netted in here. This is a big selling factor. Sometimes people just hate having the net and um, some people will cut them out, but you definitely wanna put lined. I think it's lined. I said netting, but it's lined. You're gonna wanna put that in the title so that people uh, people will click on it and or maybe not even click, but just hover over it. Because the worst thing you want someone to do on eBay is to click into your listing and then to bounce off. So if you have the title right and they just kind of scroll down, they get the impression from the from the view, but you know they move on. They don't actually click and bounce. And this is also the Seaside Collection. So that's like their own little line. We've got a long sleeve hook. Every time I see this, I say Hulk, but it's hook. This is like a dry fit type performance shirt. I guess it's a fishing brand. Uh, really good money here. It's It's, you know, it's mint green, so not like the best color, but... If it's really hot out, I think people would like to wear the lighter colors to kind of keep the heat off of them. And we got another Patagonia. Now, when it comes to Patagonia, I almost buy it regardless. This shirt, if it was priced at $10, I would be a little hesitant on it because it's just a plain striped button-up shirt. Sometimes these only sell for like $15. Sometimes they can sell for a little more. It's got the organic cotton. That's a good keyword to put in the Patagonia titles because they're all about... Um, I guess friendly cotton or something like that. So we got Polo Ralph Lauren. This is a performance line. The performance line is going to be like their athletic type wear. It's not cotton. It's going to be polyester most likely. This one's 92% polyester and 8% elastane. It's a 2XL in black. Really great pickup here. I would pick up almost any Polo Ralph Lauren performance and Polo Ralph Lauren uh, RLX because those both of those lines pr perform really well, especially for like golfers and that type of crowd. This is the second Viore piece I found today. And this one is actually my size. It's almost like this wine red color. I'm probably gonna keep this one. So I'm, I'm really happy about these. We're not gonna throw them off to the side. We're gonna throw them to the other area where I get to try on clothes. We have a uh, vintage Izod Lacoste. You guys never found Izod or Lacoste. If you see them together like this tag, it's gonna be the vintage one. This is just a V-neck green pullover. Really cool piece here. Yeah, it doesn't have a material tag in it. Sometimes they're wool, but this piece right here, I mean, it could sell as high as like 50 bucks. I haven't ran comps because I haven't found pieces like this before, or at least not in a long time. Another Polo Ralph Lauren. The reason I picked this one out to show you guys is because it's a flannel and it's a sweet purple plaid flannel. If you find Polo Ralph Lauren in flannel, this is probably the third flannel I found in Polo Ralph Lauren, like probably in the last year just because it's that kind of rare for me to find at least. But I'm definitely gonna list this one high. I think it's gonna sell for good money. Who am I kidding? All these are gonna sell for pretty good money. Next up, we have Hurley. 
And the reason I want to show this one is it's Hurley Phantom. You'll see this in the back. It's the, one of their board short lines. And because this one is the American flag is one of the main reasons I picked it up. Sometimes the white lines though will bleed, uh, the red will bleed into the white and it'll actually come up pink. But if you get anything like Texas flag, American flag, beer related board shorts, those types of things sell really well. So pretty killer piece. It is a size 30. I like to stay in the 32 to 36 range. That's really like the golden size. I mean, a lot of people in the country are, that, are those sizes. This one is another Polo Ralph Lauren. The reason I want to show it is because it's lamb's wool and silk. Now this is a medium. This would be like that Christmas type sweater. It's a nice uh, maroon color. Now, whenever I list maroon on eBay, I put maroon in the title, but in the drop downs for colors, eBay doesn't have a maroon. You can type in maroon, but I choose to put red because it's the closest color to maroon. And I think if you type in new searches inside the item specifics for eBay, it doesn't search as well if, as if you just type in the other one. So you could even go as far as saying maroon red in the title, but I've just been doing it that way and it, it still sells. Really cool piece. Make sure to have lamb's wool and silk in the title. This should sell for at least 40 bucks, I would think. Ah, uh, Harley Davidson. So I did find this Harley Davidson piece. I don't find a whole lot of Harley Davidson. I do have a video that was, um, it was a decent video. It wasn't one of my better ones, but I had a bunch of vintage Harley Davidson t-shirts that were cut off that I got at a private pick. Those sold quite a bit um, for pretty good money. They've been selling nonstop actually. And this one right here is a long sleeve. It won't sell for as much money. It doesn't have a city tied to it. A lot of them will have like different cities and states tied to it. It does have like the Harley Davidson tag here. Yeah, you know, Harley Davidson, five, six bucks. It should be pretty easy pickup. Although that one may be over a pound, so that could be a little bit of an issue. We got this Levi, but this is like the metal buttons. These are like the bigger ones here. And unfortunately, it's not like the blue color or even a black color. It's like this cream beige color. But this is still going to sell for pretty good money. I did pay like $8 for this just because so many of them were selling and it's kind of like that Billie Eilish look. And you'll probably hear me say that a lot because she's killing it and it seems like people are just copying her style and that's what's really trending right now. We got a Peter Millar. This is like the vintage Peter Millar. And I'm almost 100% sure that it's vintage just because I don't see that tag very often. And the reason I picked up this nasty Colonel Mustard looking color, this is a cashmere silk and wool long sleeve polo. And this thing, I think they were comping out around like $50. So if you guys see this vintage Peter Millar, and it is a medium, but you're not going to catch me wearing a medium because I wear a lot of black and grays, you know, but it's a, uh, it's definitely a good seller. We've got Task. I think that's how you pronounce it. The cool thing about Task is it's a uh, performance line, but it's, it's bamboo material. For some reason, they're able to put uh, organic cotton and viscose from bamboo and uh, lycra. Those are things that I don't really understand how that works in the world, but I can tell you this, Task is a really good seller. This quarter zip, I would put comps up for all these items, but you know, just run the, run the comps yourself. It's going to take me a long time. I mean, I'm showing you 65 items, so this video is going to be a little lengthy, but if you find Task and it's under like, I would even say eight, ten dollars $10, you're still going to make money on this shirt. We've got Foot Joy. Foot Joy is a great golf brand. Uh, their polos sell for a decent amount of money, but this is the Dry Joys. And the Dry Joys sell for really good money. It's a, um, this one's a full zip. Usually I find them in a quarter zip. This is the full zip, so I'm not really sure how much it's going to sell for. It does have this Titleist uh, patch on the side, which is cool, because a lot of golfers use Titleist, whether it's the balls or the clubs. Uh, awesome colors too, the black and red, I love it, man. Love that. All right, here's another uh, vintage Izod Lacoste. You see that tag again? This would be considered a cardigan, and it does fit me, and I did rock this a little bit yesterday whenever I was thrifting. I don't know, it's a cool look. It feels, you know, kind of itchy, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. We gotta have a little bit of class every once in a while, right? All right, this right here, this is a Polo Ralph Lauren, and I paid $9.99 for this one. This is a floral hoodie from Polo Ralph Lauren with the green horse on the front. This thing is freaking sweet, I mean, when it comes to Polo Ralph Lauren, there's so much out there at Polo Ralph Lauren. But if you find something unique like this that you know you may have never come across, like I didn't even know this was Ralph Lauren, this is going to sell for good money. It's one of those items you want to take a little more time doing your research. You don't want to just put like $29.99. I mean, this type of item here could sell could sell for you know much more money than that. And it's even got a nice little like drawstring. It's like the nautical rope here too. So. Very cool piece, never found anything like this before. And that was part of the inspiration of the videos just because 
I had a really great day. I did change up my strategy. If you look behind me, I have all these clothes here. Why are all these clothes here? It's because I've been doing YouTube and I've been just falling in love with like the community and the people commenting and that everyone wants to like kind of figure out what I'm doing to make, make this kind of money. Uh, but I have not been listing as much. I also have a newborn baby. His name is Seth. He's three and a half months, three, three months and three weeks old. And yeah, he's great. So he takes up a lot of time. Him and my wife were sick this last week. I was sick a little bit the week before. So balancing the YouTube videos, balancing the listings and photographs, it's, it's going to be a little tricky. So my strategy for this thrift trip, it was to pay a little bit more money and not buy as much. Usually I buy between 200 and 275 items on that one 15 hour day. This time I think I ended up with like 145 items. My average cost buy cost on these items was $6.50. When I usually hit the 200 to 275, my average buy cost is $3.50. So that $3 is pretty significant when you multiply it by the 200 you know, plus items. These items will probably make more money than the other items that I found. And the only reason I was able to do that is because I did pay a little more money. Next, we have this REI Co-op. This is a quarter zip long sleeve and I will give some thanks to Big Yumbo. He got me on a co-op. I don't find a lot of REI. There's not any REI stores really where I'm at. Uh, the routes that I go to, there probably is some REI, but he said the co-op is what to go for, so I went and picked this up. I think I paid like, you know, six something at the thrift, six or seven, maybe even eight. I'm not sure. I think I paid eight dollars. You know, you could always say like all the YouTubers that helped you, but so many of them are putting out good content. It's really hard to like pinpoint where I got a lot of my information from. You guys probably can see from my inventory system, which I'll have a video on that soon. I copied Daily Refinements. He was doing really well on eBay and I decided to copy him because I wanted to do really well. I watched uh, Matt with Thrift of Life. You know, he does the what solds and he has really great uh, comedic timing. I thought that was great. And then kind of from there, I kind of shut YouTube off for a long time because I needed to focus on building my business. But those people, you know, they played a big factor. I could kind of go on and on, but there's a lot of people out there doing a lot of great things. So try to find a great creator that you like and just kind of follow along and like and subscribe to the channel. You know, you can see me grow, see me find good stuff, and you'll be able to find it yourself too. This brand, let me tell you, this brand is one I've never picked up. It's designed in Austin, Texas. I don't know if any of you guys can guess. It's just a long sleeve polo. Looks kind of basic, almost like some of those cheaper brands. And the brand is called Cricket. Now, when I looked up this brand, first off, it felt a little heavier. It did have a unique pocket right here with this little emblem with a C. This Cricut shirt, if you guys look at the comps, I think it's like $55 to $65 used. I mean, really tremendous piece. It's a size large, so that's perfect. Somebody's going to love that piece. Now, we also got a Robert Graham. Robert Graham has not been the best shirt to buy because thrifts are pricing them at $20 to $50, $100. I've seen some of these thrift stores. This one is a 3XL, it's black. It does have some detailing. I don't know if you guys can see, it's like some geometric print to it. And let's see the cuff. You can put flip cuff in the title here and that'll help out a little bit. 3XL, they had this price at $3.99. These people were sleeping on this Robert Grimm. So I snatched it up. Here's one you guys are probably gonna hate on in the comments, but it is Denim Supply Ralph Lauren. The reason I picked this up, I think it's obvious. It's got all this great floral, floral print on it. And it's really tight floral, you know, it's not like the big loopy Tommy Bahama type floral, but yeah, something like this good shape, you know, is $4. Uh, I could easily list this at maybe $25 and, and take like, you know, 15 or so really easy seller right here. Next up, we got another quarter zip. This is Brooks brothers. It's the 346. So Brooks brothers has 346 and they have like 1818. This is Merino wool in a large. I paid I think $9 for this one. It's also on my Instagram. I made a little spoof video of going through these items. The next three I'm about to show you. Um, sometimes I like to show like items that are really good and then I like to show bad items, but I like to show me picking them up. And I don't know if I want to go down that rabbit hole of trolling, um, you know, the reselling type uh, feel because people kind of get triggered by it, but I think it's kind of funny. And a viewer did ask me to make a little short video. So if you check out my Instagram, I made a reel of it. And yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of cringe, but I, I just felt like kind of, you know, just put a little bit of that out there for you guys. But yeah, this one right here, I'm probably going to list it like $40. It's probably going to be the mark for something like this. Another one right next to it. This was Southern Marsh and they actually had it priced at $12.81, which I probably still would have picked this up at $12.81. They had it marked down to $6.99. Quarter zip. It's like the, I think, shirling or sheet wool. I don't really know what this style is. 
It's 100% polyester, which is odd. So I guess this thing would just catch fire. Maybe it's not as expensive as I thought it was. Nonetheless, I mean, it's it's cool. Southern, Southern Marsh has made me some money in the past, so I kind of just went for it on this one. This item is Faherty, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And I don't want to insult the creators of this. Um, his name's Mike, and he has a brother that started this company about 10 years ago. But Faherty is always been a good seller. seller. This is like a quilted... Uh, snap shacket you could say and it's a size large it's a great color recently I sold a long sleeve button shirt fair tee and it was a hundred percent linen and the person that bought that was none other than Michael Faherty let's just call it Faherty Faherty Fahir let's call it Faherty Michael Faherty bought this and I was completely blown away I mean when I saw the name on the label for the person buying it I was kind of like that's that's kind of strange it's such a rare kind of name and yeah, it was him. So I wrote him a little note thanking him for you know creating an amazing brand and, and just really appreciate it because I've made a lot of money on it. Whenever you find it, I mean, definitely look the comps, but you could pay up for this stuff. They they sell shirts for $175 brand new. I mean, I don't really know what the comps are on it, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing piece. And I can't thank those guys enough for that. All right, so we got a run of pants here before we get to the good thrift haul bag, which I know this has all been pretty good, but this was all at one store. Those other ones came like three from one store, five from one store, but those 20 was from the same one. We got some pants here, so I'm going to put them on this bag so I don't have to bend down as much. Pants, pants, pants. Don't you love pants? Pants and jeans are some of the better sellers. They hold a little bit more value if you find the right ones, but they do take up more space. It takes a little bit longer to photograph, which I'm going to make a video about photographing pants and shorts if you guys are interested. You got to ship them priority most of the time. So let's just get started with this. I call these like grandpa pants. This is Polo Ralph the Wren. This was 10% wool and 90% cotton, but because it's that 10% wool, you can put wool blend. Yeah, you know, I think they wanted $3 for these. And they're pleated and they're old school and they're kind of huge, but definitely going to sell. Here's a brand a lot of people love. It's Cool. Cool right here. Now, Cool usually has on the inside type of Cool, like cut for the pant. This one is the Revolt, which I know they have like Revolver, I think, and like a couple weird kind of names. Cool is a great like hiking, like workwear brand. Uh, they did want like $13 for this one. So I definitely paid up, but I've sold cool for as high as like uh, $65. That one's probably not going to be as high. That one honestly may only sell for like 40 bucks, but it's really hard to pass up, um, you know, 15 into 40 because yeah, you don't make a lot of money, but you make more money than if you buy one of these polo shirts and you spend 99 cents and sell it for 17. Like it's almost the same amount of money if you really look at it. So this one here, I don't know if you guys can tell, doesn't have much going on. It has a plain button here. And that usually is a good sign if it feels right that it's Lululemon. So these are uh, men's pants. There's not much to it because they don't usually the, um, what makes Lulu difficult is the tags are super long and people just rip them right out. They're tearaways. So it's really hard to figure out the style code with these. Um, I probably just list these as green pants. You know, it looks like just straight leg and it doesn't have a size. So you just measure the size out and kind of go from there. I haven't found Lulu slacks. I know they're not really slacks, right? They're pants. I haven't really found Lulu pants like this. So I don't know what to sell them for. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on that one. So I was waiting in line at the checkout. And I know I told you guys I was getting out of women's jeans because they're just the death of me. I mean, women's jeans, it's a, it's a tough category to do well at. You get a lot more returns, and there's a lot of flaw places that are kind of hidden. But I did find Pilcro. Pilcro is a good brand. I believe I heard my friend Ashley at Recloth Collection talk about Pilcro, and it's a size, yeah, size 18 in women's. So I decided to grab it, and while I was waiting in line, I just ran the comps, and I, I knew it was going to be good anyway. I do like to look up comps on brands that I haven't bought in a while, or if I haven't sold it in a while, because I want to keep that information fresh, because you guys will see if you start selling clothes, sometimes they just drop right off. You know, something will happen with the company, a controversy, or if a big box store like Costco or Walmart picks up a brand, it's going to just saturate. And also my friend Brian Roning, he was telling me how Lucky Brand jeans were actually picked up as well. And I think it was by Costco and it, it just makes the, the market, the desirability and, and the, the power of the brand just gets saturated and it sucks. But I don't really know where I was going with that. But yeah, those th <laughs> those jeans are going to do well. Right now we have uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. This is a casual pant, and these are a size medium, so I may give them a try. They're just cotton. It's got pockets here on the side. 
and those zip pockets, which is kind of nice, you know. Uh, really nice piece. They're also zip ankle. And yeah, I, these are like really easy sellers. And I really have gotten out of this type of pant because you'll see the waistband stretched out a lot. And when the waistband is stretched out a lot, usually the size is just off. And then they people ask questions like, well, do you think if you pull the drawstring, it'll be tight enough to fit me? And I'm like, dude, I don't know what your body looks like. I'm not sure. You know, people always ask me like, are these jeans going to fit? And I'm like, dude, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And that's part of the reason why I got out of like a lot of the pants, but I went a little crazy this time. So they do sell for good money. It's hard to deny the money. Like and subscribe to the channel. Right here. If you guys know Morono, <laughs> Moreno is like a cheap brand. Yeah, I know. You're probably not going to sell much Morono, Morano in your life. I think it's a Target brand, but this one is the Beard McNutt. And Beard McNutt, it has to do with the linen line of, I think it's a type of linen. I'm, I'm not really sure. These sell really well. I think these are like $30 pants. I mean, it's new with tags, but I think the used ones were $30. It's so a $36.30, really cool piece. Whenever I see brown pants like this, for some reason, I think of the Wild Thornburys with the, uh, the, the dad. His name was Nigel, but he wore shorts. But for some reason, this color just speaks like Africa to me for some reason. Or like safari, you know, that type of stuff. Cool pickup there. That was in fact not a cool pickup. Now these pair of jeans I've never found before, but when I saw this giant cargo pocket down by like the kneecap and the shin, I knew it was something. I knew I had to look it up. The brand here is, I'll show you this back one, because it did have like this quote unquote new with tags. It's a uh, EPTM, so Eptim, Los Angeles. These things didn't have like a ton of comps on it and, and it, they didn't have any in this color. So that a lot of, I think they had a couple blue ones sell maybe, but it's like a designer type brand. I think I, I don't really know, but I said, you know what, let's just go for it. This place I bought it at, I think it was $4.99. So yeah, I was, I was going to take the risk. It could be worth like anywhere from 30 to like 80 bucks. You know, I just got to do, got to crunch the numbers and figure it out. Next up, this is kind of like a bread and butter. This is BKE. This is the Asher cut. I haven't found many of the Ashers. It's a good brand to sell. They sell it at the buckle. Usually I find like the Tylers, the Jakes. Those are pretty common ones. I think this one may be considered slim because it looks pretty skinny like in the leg. And you know, it's got a little bit of this like kind of wear on it. But that's like, that's the look for someone who's wearing these. So yeah, pretty good pickup here. Next, this is a cool one. So this is RevTown. If you guys have ever come across RevTown, this is a pretty high dollar piece. It's the sharp cut, which I don't really know what that means. It may even fit me. No, it's a 30-30. I don't think I can fit a 30-30 anymore. Really good money. I'm not sure exactly. Probably like 40 bucks though, I would think. So yeah, Rev Town's a good one. I don't find it very often, but I knew right away. You can feel the, the thickness of the cotton that it's, it's worth some money. I don't know if you guys ever sold Gap clothing, but Gap 1969. I mean, just take a look at this, right? This thing just screams top good. You know, it's got the giant cargo, like, this is like the flight pocket, they call it. They would put their flight caps in there. And then it's got like this snap here on the front. I mean, it's a 3230, so I might, I don't know. I don't know if I can rock this, but like, I, I may consider it. I may try it on. So I didn't, I didn't even look up comps for this, honestly. Like, I, you just know, like, if you sell long enough, I mean, look at the zipper. Look at the zipper size right here. I mean, they put a lot of money into making this. And it's kind of, kind of extreme that Gap would go out of their way to do something this great, but this thing is the look right now. I don't think I can do it. The flag pockets seem too weird for me. I'm too conservative for that kind of thing. Uh, right here, we got Department West. Now, Department West is another jean brand that I do not pick up very often. I just don't see it very often. I'm pretty sure it's worth at least 25, 30 bucks. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have it, you know, happy to have it. All right, so we had just finished up that, and that was probably like 45 items, but we are gonna go over the stuff I got from the one store, and it's just a really great store. I'm really glad I went there. First up, we'll start with one of the lower end stuff. This is a REI, it's a woman's co-op. This is like geometric print, short sleeve, green, like a nice green color. So I think it's a size large, that's something. Next, okay, so okay, maybe it was like that ah, great, but like these are two Untuck It shirts, and the reason I think it's great is I paid like two dollars for these Untuck It shirts, two dollars a piece. Untuck It's a really good brand. I mean, the white. Hopefully, there's no stains. I don't think there is. the The store put out really good quality stuff, and this is like a red one. So those are really easy sellers. Untuck It has fallen from grace. I remember my one of my favorite YouTubers, a lot of Josh. He talked about Untuck It like nonstop, and he would sell their button ups for like forty five dollars. I have not gotten $45 for an untucked button up in a long time. I mean, very long time. 
They still sell though. They still sell. So we have this. It's Everlane. This is a pretty good brand. I want to say, I want to say Anthropology brand, but I'm not sure. It's a medium, just kind of a nice basic color. And yeah, those I did not pay more than like a few bucks for. So it was really great. Here we have our task again. This is task performance, a 34 gray shorts. I don't think I've even come across the task shorts before. So I'm really excited to see how these comp out as opposed to like the long sleeves that I find. Oh yeah. So they had some Roan pieces there. This is a Roan quarter zip. One indicator is like the X's here as well as just like the, the name Roan. And it does have a little bit of this um, stuff that peels off, but I don't think it's going to make that big a difference. Yeah, these Roan pieces, quarter zips, I don't really come across Roan, but I'm pretty sure they sell for good money. And I'm really excited to like to look them up. It's just one of those things I just don't find every day. All right, so we got some Foot Joy. This is the quarter zips I was talking about. Really nice purple and gray quarter zip. It's a size medium. I'm not too big on quarter zips either. Something about taking it off and like your hair getting messed up. I mean, it just kind of like, I don't know. I guess if I'm out like, no, nah, I, I just wouldn't wear quarter zips. Really not about it. But this quarter zip here could be like 50 bucks. Like you could list these at $49.99, maybe $39.99 if you want to sell them quick. But yeah, great pickup there. More foot joint. This was new attack. This was their phase one base layer. I've never found this. And these I actually paid $10 for. So I did pay up on some of this stuff. It's a thermal base layer. I kind of just took a risk on this just because it had the tags and I mean foot joy sells for me. And I ended up getting two of those. All right, we got Mizzen in Maine. Mizzen in Maine is a great, great brand. They actually are going a little bit down when it comes to price. Like I think when I was first finding Mizzen in Maine, they were selling for, for like 50s. This shirt here, I don't think I can get 50 out of, but it's a really cool geometric print. It's blue. I mean, unfortunately, it's a size small, which does hurt it a little bit, but a uh, really awesome piece. And Mizzen and Main feels great. I found a short sleeve button Mizzen and Main. I put it on. It was awesome. So I'm probably going to keep that in my arsenal. Next up, we have Arc'teryx. Arc'teryx is one of the stronger winter brands that I know of. Well, I didn't see this when I bought it. It looks like there's like a company embroidery on it. It says Link here. So that kind of stinks. But it's a full zip jacket. It's this um, like topish green color, I guess, or like military green. Still, it's an XL, like a really great jacket. Somebody's going to be happy to get that one. Okay, a little more of a basic piece here. It's just a Polo Ralph Lauren, but it's a 2XL big. And it's a green and white stripe. Anytime the 2XL big or tall is going to sell for good money. Ah, another Faherty. So this is a, like a flannel type. It's a size small. I was really hoping this would be a medium. I swear, I never find medium in this brand. I never, never find medium. I find larges, I find smalls, extra. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is, but yeah, this is a really, really cool piece. And if you just feel this, it just feels expensive. I don't know if you guys have ever just like found a piece that's like a hundred plus dollars and put it on. You're just like, man, this is what rich feels like. And you know, I'm not there yet, but uh, maybe I'll thrift one and I can, uh, I can, I can get that like feeling, you know, the second hand rich. This is suit supply. Suit supply is made with Egyptian cotton. These shirts sell really great. I think I've sold these for upwards to like 40 bucks. I think it's kind of a sleeper too, just because the tag looks really basic. But suit supply, make sure to find that one. This shirt is pretty cool. This is your Apple employee shirt. It's a size medium, so I may try it on. I am going to get an iPhone. Right now I have a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, and I use the iPhone 7 Plus for like my photos. I do think I'm going to upgrade because I want the camera to have a little bit better quality and I think the mics on those cameras are really good too. This one was very hard to look up. If you guys have ever found like the Apple employee t-shirts, some of them are just on like basic shirts and then they like slap the logo. This one has like the Apple um, screen print tag and then it also has the Apple in the center and I think some of them will have it like in the corner of the shirt like you see on some brands but the ones on the center I believe are worth more money. This should be like a $30 shirt. I don't know if I want to try it on. It's baby blue you know. I just I'm not not about it. So this is a pair of jeans here. This is Peter Millar. I didn't really know Peter Millar sold jeans, but their jeans sell for a lot of money. I was super surprised. It's a size 32, so I may give it a try. You know, I can always use a good pair of jeans. And then, you know, you could probably just sell it later if you get tired of wearing it. This is made in Turkey. Pretty sure it's just cotton. Okay, 98% cotton, 2% elastane. Whenever people ask if cotton, like some people ask, do the jeans have any stretch? 
If it has 2% elastane or more, I tell them there's a little stretch. If it has like 1% elastane, I do not tell them it has any stretch. I say, I'm not really sure. Because you know, it, it kind of just depends on how it's been washed and just how it feels. But if it has 2%, it usually has just a little bit of stretch. So I think I may try these on. I always like finding jeans that fit, which is really hard for me. All right, next item here. This is a uh, diesel jeans. Diesel jeans are pretty great. They sell for a lot of money. Some of them sell for more money. This is the Xanthem. Now, if you see diesel and it has like the uh, Italian colors right here next to that tag, yeah, I think they sell for more money. These ones were made in Tun Tunis Tun Tunsi. Xanthem is one of their better cuts. This might be like a $50, $60 pair of jeans. And I paid up for these. I think I paid like $18 for these, but it's just because I don't find them very often and I know I can get some money for them. Like worst case, like $40 plus shipping on something like that. All right, let's keep it going. This one here is great. This one is uh, Roark. Roark is like a really good brand. I thought it was Roan when I picked it up. And I mean, I don't remember the exact price on this, but it's like a snap button. And you can just tell like all the elements of this shirt are good quality. So yeah, this store, like they just knew what to find. And, and that's why I ended up paying like a little more, but then some of the other items I paid like, you know, a little less. So it kind of worked out. We got our Polo Ralph Lauren here. Again, my buddy Brian, he told me that when it's denim, but not thick denim, it's a chambray. And I had another person comment that too. So like when you guys tell me the comments about things that like I don't know, it really does help. I do pay attention to them and I read all of them. Now, some of them, you know, I disregard because I mean, come on now, like I'm doing all right. Like I ain't like brand new, but when you guys tell me some like key, key, key words and like just things I don't know, I mean, it really does help this business. And one thing about the YouTube channel that I love is that I have just a ton of people with a ton of like experience in other categories and, and even other like just walks of life and they can kind of tell me stuff and I can just absorb all of it and get the, pick the best of what I want out of it and apply it to my life. That's why I decided to like change my logo. I wanted to look a little bit sharper, like a little bit more professional. And I did design it myself. I did it in the middle of the night while my son was just like in between one of his fits. One of the things that I did change about it is on the banner, I put selling, teaching, and learning. And the reason I put the selling is obviously I'm a reseller. And two, the teaching is because I am, I am teaching some newer sellers, but the learning part wasn't for the viewer to learn. It was for me to learn because this channel, I not only, you know, I'm, I'm kind of giving away some of my secret sauce, but I'm also like learning a lot from the viewer. So I really appreciate everyone that comments and all the people that have been supporting me lately because this has been something I've been thinking about since 2019 when I started. I just didn't have the, the computer. I didn't have the business set up. I didn't want to just start and be fumbling all over the place because YouTube takes so much time. If you don't have your stuff squared away, I don't really think you should be spending 15, 20 hours on something else that you know may make you money or may not make you money. It's just one of those things, but now that I'm kind of stable, you know, even though I have a newborn, it's great. I just, I'm having a lot of fun with it and I really appreciate you guys. So. We got our chambray shirt. I know that was like a long little thing and it's just, it's what it is. It's real, man. It's real motion too. I'm just, I'm really excited about all this right here. Yeah. So we got another Roan quarter zip. So I ended up getting two Roan quarter zips. Really excited to price those out. And then the last piece, I ended up paying 40 bucks for this. And this was the first piece I saw when I went into the store. This is the Patagonia. Um, I don't know what they call it. it is nano puffer possibly. I think it was nano puffer because they're small puffs. And this is a 2XL. So I saw a comp, I think it was like 75 or 80 for this. So paying 40, you know, you're not going to make a lot of money, but it's, it's a good seller. I mean, this thing is going to sell right away. So I took an offer on this Patagonia Nano Puff of $65. It sold within two hours. And I was really happy to get my money back and make a little bit extra. I mean, maybe it'll have to wait through the summer, but it's just an awesome piece. That's all that I got yesterday on my sourcing trip. I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys learned something. I hope you learned some brands and I really appreciate everyone that's been watching. I am working on that inventory video. I haven't started it yet. I know I'm a little behind, but once I get some items listed and some more money rolling into the, the, into the accounts, then I will start on that video. So I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh shoot, dude.